Okay, hey, hey everyone. I'm whispering because it's pretty late and I don't want to wake anybody up. But the rat is done and I'm about to pull it from the mold. This is the very first one, so I have no idea what it's going to look like. But I'm hoping it's going to look good. But here we go. I've already loosened it up to make it a little bit easier to get out. But it's still going to be pretty hard to get out since it's the very first one. Those ones are always the hardest. They're always, they always take a little bit more effort. Don't want to tear the ear. Come on. Here. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, that's fine. There we go. Come on. Ah, got a little bit of a tear right there. Might need to widen that part just a little bit. Yeah, right there. Ah, yeah, it's sticking a little bit. Yeah, she's definitely a little hard to get out of there. But after you've used it a couple times, it gets a lot easier. Okay, and these little parts, you'll notice these. It's, if you look back on my previous um, video, it's a little part that I had on top of the hand. So when, if air gets stuck there, it floats up into this part, there. So any air bubbles that collect there ends up in this piece and not in the hand or the leg or wherever you put these. It's just to prevent any any unwanted air bubbles because they always tend to show up here or there or somewhere. Yeah, see? But no air bubbles, so that's good. Oh, my hands are tired. Okay, come on. Foot's a little... There we go. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, gotta start getting the tail out of there. And then I can just pull it right through there. There we go. Got the foot. Oh, Igor! Uh, yes, my, my cat is currently right next to me causing chaos. Oh, come on, it's stuck. A little bit more, and there we go. Uh, that color needs to go up a little bit further, but that's not bad. And I'll cut that part off. And it will have inserted eyes right there, so that's why there's no eyes currently. But it actually looks pretty good. And yes, it will have an armature in, in the feet to help it stand. The only air bubbles I see are the ones right there in the toes. So other than that, I don't see right there a little bit where it tore. Teeny bit on the ear. But all that's very easily fixed. A good seam. Barely anything there. A little trimming and that'll be totally gone. But here we go.
kind of hard to see in the camera. Around the tail. Oh, wait. Uh, there's a little bit of a... I guess a... Uh, that's kind of weird. But again, that's easily fixed. That's like nothing. But the color need to go up a little bit higher. But it's not bad. Not a big deal. But there we go. Yeah, I've, I'm kind of thinking about the whiskers, when I what I want to do for the whiskers. And I think I have an idea. So I'm going to do them a little bit different from the kittens. Yeah, they're going to be a little bit different, but I have an idea. I love the tail. Look at that. Thought it'd be easier to cast it in a different color than just trying to paint it. But this little ratty is going to have like the black spots and all that. Yep. Still squishy. Very movable. But I'm going to go ahead and put an armature in probably starting somewhere around here and bring it down into the foot. And I don't think I'll put any in the tail because I like the, the floppy tail. I like the tail the way it is. But just to make it so it stands and if you want to lean it over or something, there I will be putting an armature. Just like about that far up maybe. Just to kind of give it a little more stability so it can stand. I could try like a firmer silicone, but I I don't know. I like how squishy this one is. I don't want anything that's like too hard. It's hard to see in the camera, but I like the little ears. Need to fix them a little bit, but they're very cute. But see, there we go. There's the little ratty. Let's see. Where's a uh, Need to measure. Yeah, she's pretty big. You go from there to there. And then she's pretty long if you include the tail. This ruler is about six inches. So she's pretty big. Life size. Yep, there we go. There's my little ratty. Oh, and the sale of the little mini babies that I have in my store, like the two, the, the two inch, the three inch, the four, and all that, it will be ending at the end of the month. So, yeah, just letting you know. But I will be doing the same sale next year around this time, January and February. I'm loving the little rat. I like... I wasn't quite sure how the fur would turn out. But I like the fur. And the way it is, I can even just like cover it up if I wanted to. And I can even make like a furless rat. And I will be making some like little rat pups and all that. I kind of have to. Because after making this, I'm, I just kind of have to. It's going to be so cute. Oh, and I'll be posting more hamsters, and I just came out with another, a different type of hamster. It's standing up. I don't think I have the sculpt over here to show you. Yeah, I don't. It's over there getting its matting, so I can't bring it over here, but it'll probably be up for sale the day after tomorrow. 
So, yeah. But, I'll see you guys later. When I... Actually, do I have my trimming scissors over here? I can trim it up a little bit. I don't think I do. Well, when I start painting her, I'll go ahead and post again. Bye.